Hi folks, I'm Matteo Collina, Platformatic co-founder and CTO. Have you ever had to create a service to expose multiple APIs from different microservices? I found myself numerous times in this situation and it's usually repetitive and boring work. As you know, our goal in, our goal in Platformatic is to make backend development as frictionless as possible. And as part of our Platformatic Papilio launch, in this video, I will present you the new Platformatic Composer. Let's get started. So um, to get started, we have two services, one is posted on port 3001, and uh, this service offers, uh, it's our, is, is our generator, is the default one that we generate if you create a Platformatic DB application. So it has movies and so on and so forth. And we also have another, another one called slash hello, which is another service as opposed to port 3002. And it's, it's here, okay, as you can see. So, um, you know, how do we compose the two together? Let's, let's give it a shot. First, we create a new, a new composer folder. Once we have created the composer folder, uh, we, we, we get in there and run the new, the, our plat create platformatic command. Here we select the composer uh, uh, template and we create our project here in port 042 and we do not create the GitHub action just yet. Now, if we look into this, into this file, you can see that there is a platformatic composer.json which has two, um, which has a, a sample service called example. We need two things here. One is movies, okay? And we'll get the URL from the PLT movies origin. And then we will need the uh, uh, hello service, which will be from hello origin and the ID is hello. Okay, now, however, we also need to update our environment variable. So we need to change movies. And, and these will be uh, 3001. And here will be hello and 3002. And those two, we put them in, okay, in our dot amp. Cool, so now once we've done that, we can do uh, something very nice, uh, which is learn platformatic start. And uh, now we can open our browser and this is the new 3042 is, is our composer, right? But if we open up the documentation, you can see that now it combines both the movies and the low route. And then you can see here, this is actually very nice because we can, for example, try the, our hello route and uh, run run this and you see it returns full bar as we would expect or something like that. And then we can also, for example, create a movie and uh, uh, which is, you know, Star Wars. And uh, again, we have created the Star Wars movie. Cool, right? Okay. So, um, you know, but how does it work? Well, it's actually that simple. You don't need to do much more. Um, you, what you could do, though, is if you go into uh, into the into the service, you can see that we are going to, for example, we can decide that we want to run another route. And if we run another route, we have created a low two, which return a low uh, uh, papilio. And we save this. And now I will note I've not done anything else. So this is actually very useful for, for everything. Now, if we go into 002, now this is both of them. So the ultra loading is working. But what is even more, what is even cooler is that the auto reloading of the composer is also working and you get the second one uh, automatically out of the box. It's actually really, really, it's actually really, really cool. Okay, I really like this, uh, uh, this approach to uh, composing services together. Hope you like it. There are a lot of other features in the composer. You can add plugins, you can do a lot of things like an, a normal service, to be honest. But uh, this is the core of it. And uh, uh, stay tuned for the next video. Bye.